though I will consider myself a longtime Sims player because I've been playing this game for the past 24 years of my life. I'm 27 going on 28 in like nine days from now. But every time the Sims team adds in more representation to the game, I always get excited. And of course, they still have a long ways to go. But what we have now is very, very cool. And I cannot wait to see more. But today, the Sims team has added in Vita Lego into the Sims 4 in the skin details while collaborating with Winnie Harlow, supermodel and entrepreneur. And so I thought today we do a little creative Sim kind of chit chatting and just just having fun with cast because... I live and breathe in create a sim with and without custom content but let me show you this update so with the new Vita Lego update it's categorized as a skin detail and it works for the face and also for the whole body and you can layer them on your body and what's so cool about this is that they collaborated with Winnie Harlow which I love so I'm looking forward to seeing like what they do for the next representation update whether they work with somebody outside of their company within the Sims community or whatever it might be I'm looking forward to seeing what they do especially for this being a base game update for all players because a lot of times CC creators have made Vita Lego in the game for CC wise however console players could not have this type of CC so now that it's widely available for everyone around the world is very very good so I'm hoping that down the line they add in more things into the game so people can accurately make themselves even more in The Sims 4 and I've said it time and time again is that The Sims 4 has always been my most favorite game to play because I can accurately make myself skin tone wise hair type body shape, eye shape, mouth shape, everything. And it wouldn't be for X Mirror Mirror and Ebonics for collaborating and working with the Sims team to give us proper hair types and also proper skin tones. And so I'm hoping that they add in more things and collaborate and consult with people outside of their company to make these things for us. Because as a black person, we need better things in the game, better hair type, better skin tones, everything. But I love that with the Vita Lego, you can actually layer it and you can also change the position of where it's being placed. So you can have it on your back, just like this, somewhere in the front. You can also have it all around and it changes based on which one you choose, but you can have it on your back, on your front, on your arms, if you choose to be. And it's just so unique, whether it's like right or left or all around. You can have some on your legs. You can have some pretty much anywhere. And it's just so cool that we have these different variants and there's so many variants we can choose from. So the more, the merrier. But at the end of the day, representation matters. It's always important to talk about it, especially adding in more representation in the game, like The Sims and just in the video game industry as a whole. But I'm going to make a sim because I love create a sim. I feel like this cast mode is like Play-Doh. It's all about molding, shaping your sims how you want. And that is what we were here for. But for this sim, I'm going to randomize their name. Dusty Rich. Dusty Rich, pronoun T him. We're going to go with it. Dusty Rich. I don't know who you're going to be, but you're going to be some body. And I'm very excited about that. But let's give you this skin tone. I think it looks really cool. And of course, I will be using custom content because I am a custom content hoarder. I feel like the more custom content I add in my game, the more my game will explode. But do I care? Yes. And also no. But at the end of the day, CC is free and I have to have it or else I feel like I'm going crazy. But you don't really need CC to make Sims, of course, but I just have it because it's out there and I just have to have it, you know? But let me know down in the comments below, what do you like doing in The Sims? Because we all play our game differently. Some like building, some like gameplay, some like challenges. Some people solely just make Sims for fun and do nothing else. But let me know what you all do in The Sims for because I generally would love to know. Because as a Simmer of 24 plus years, I've been playing this game day in and day out doing different things. And I find myself always gravitating towards like family gameplay and a little bit of chaos. Like sometimes I'll dabble into like a wholesome family of like three or four. And then I'm like, where's the chaos? Where's the drama? Where, where can I cause a discrepancy within my own Sims game? I'm gonna need more tea. Like one day I'll have a family married and whatnot, and then someone cheats or someone simply falls into the pool, not by my own hand, but just, you know, dramatically falls in somehow with no pool ladder of any kind. And they're just like, what happened? Where did you go? Dag, dag. I don't know, but it's so, 
I don't know, but it's just so cool that we're getting more of these cool things. And I, and honestly, I find myself going into creative sim so much and I could literally spend hours on end in this mode and never get bored. But I will say that with custom content it has come a long way. And I feel like with the Sims, it's come a long way as well, especially from the Sims one, where we only had three skin types, light, medium, and dark. And then we're going to the Sims two, where we had more ranges. And then the Sims three with the whole skin tone slider, that was a huge deal. But then when it came to the Sims four, there was so many more things that we haven't seen from the previous games until we saw it now. And I think that every time I open up each and every iteration of The Sims, I'm always like reminded of like where we came from and where we are now. And so at the end of the day, I'm always excited to see how we can craft new stories, create new content. And custom content creators are always inspired to create something new that they haven't done before, haven't seen before. And we're all in this together. I always say we're all in this together creating content that we want to see. And I remember like hearing something from like the entertainment industry because I'm an actor and everything. And I feel like I've known this my entire life because like school, if you don't see it, create it yourself. Be the change you want to see. And I always think that it's very important to always create something that you would like to see out into the universe that's not being created because you are that person that created that that type of thing and then other people are inspired to create that and even more and so like i said more representation the better at the end of the day so i'm gonna probably use some hair from oh i do really love shea butters cc a lot i've also been recently downloading a lot of johnny sims cc on tumblr as well and it's been super cool just like navigating tumblr again and like downloading custom content that i think is really cool and just like finding new custom content creators that i probably haven't you know seen before but i've like never really thought of downloading until like recently so it's like amazing what people can do now for me i cannot make cc at all i can do recolors i can just do that and that's literally it i can't do anything else because i am not that talented so I leave it to the professionals, the game devs to do what they do and make it happen. For Dusty Rich, which I honestly kind of want to change her name now. What's your name? Levi Rich. That's even better. Levi Rich. That will be your name. So the other day I was making a sim from one of my friends' sims projects and I was noticing an actual pattern of the outfits that I was using over and over and over. And it was like, let me just start using items I don't normally use, especially the clothing kits that we've gotten as of lately. And the sim that I was making, I was starting to use the modern menswear kit because that kit at the time was not my favorite. I did not use it that much. It looked cool at that time, but I never actually used it a lot. And the modern menswear kit is now grown on me. I like the style. It makes sense. I'm making my Sims different, like look wise, dress wise, everything wise. And it's just so good to like tap into that variety era that I'm always trying to get to, especially with Sims making. And for Levi Rich, I want to give him like that rich fancy prep boy type of vibe and this little sweater vest with all these holes makes so much sense country club brundle bay i get that vibe now when it comes to the pants we have so many options and it's kind of overwhelming that we have this many options but it's good that we do but it's so hard to choose because they all look so great. We have shorts, jorts, underwear, jeans, everything, skirts. It's so much, but it's good to have a variety. But I'm trying to figure out there was this one pair of pants that I really liked. And I think it was from the Engine Arrival kit, which by the way, that kit is great. I love the Engine Arrival kit. These pants stunning absolutely stunning i love it i also love these i really love like these little jogger short pants type of things but then we have these doesn't it just look so good it matches so well with the modern menswear kit and the engine arrival kit it's too good too stinking good i think i'll go with like black pants actually but i do like the tan i like the brown Ooh, ooh. We're going with that one. We're going with those pair of pants. The shoes that I will be using is probably from Discover University, which I don't use that often. Ooh, or Batu. Probably not, probably not Batu. 
we'll probably keep going with the engine of rifle kit because the, the shoes that we got with that kit are also very good now this is not a kit review whatsoever i'm just showcasing the new vitiligo update that we got and i wanted to make a sim in the process and i got too deep into it that i can't not stop like i could literally spend hours on end in cast and never get bored like this video is already an hour long that's how long i've been here but I am enjoying myself. I feel content, happy, relaxed in my right mind. And it just feels good. You know, like, do we all have those moments where we just want to go into cast or go into gameplay or go into build and buy and just have that good old relaxing fun for hours and never get bored? Because same, same bestie, same. But for Levi, I want to give him like some earrings or like a necklace or something. I want to use some of the earrings that we have from Praline Sims, but I want to use the base game ones. I like these earrings. I also like the ones from the Home Chef Hustle. I also like the ones from the Goth Grunge kit that we got recently that we all voted on. Oh, I didn't know we had earrings from the Werewolf Pack. No way. These are really cool. Ooh, what are the other ones we have here? Hmm. Maybe I will go with the ones from base game because they do look very nice. I'll go with these or little studs. I'll go with the hoops. Why not? Go with the hoops. They look very nice. And we'll go with silver because they kind of match with our little outfit here. I think glasses also work very well with the sim. Oh, look at him. Look at little Levi. Levi Rich looks fashionable. Looks in stylish. Oh, he looks so cool. Maybe we won't go with any glasses. I think he's okay without glasses for now. But I do want to give him some eye colors that I have in my game. And they're all from Sims 3 Melahonic. And I'll try my best to link down below the custom content that I'm using on Levi. In case you want to download it for yourself for whatever reason. And I think I want to use these eyes from Glory Haha. Ha. I'm pretty sure that's how you say their creator name. But I love these because they kind of match the game style. But they have a little bit more detail to them if that makes sense. But I really like how Levi looks. He looks so cool, very stylish, going out into the world, doing his own thing. And I think for Levi, I want to make him ambitious. He can also be, hmm, he can be proper a and a bookworm. And I think for his aspiration, I want to make him a renaissance sim. A sim that's good at many things at once because that is what Levi is. And if people tell you that you can't do X, Y, and Z, then they're trash. You can do anything you set your mind to and that's one period. But nonetheless, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video off right here. I do hope you all enjoyed the bit of Lego update that I showcased here, but also showcasing the create a sim of Levi Rich. And if you want the CC that I use, I will link it down below in the description. But with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe here, and I will see you all next time. Bye!